Hi guys, it's Bianca Alexa. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I teamed up with Bumble and Bumble to bring you guys some curl inspiration. I tested out their BB Curl collection and I wanted to share my results with you guys. This collection comes with sulfate free shampoo, a custom conditioner, a pre style restyle priming spray, defining cream, a conditioning mousse, and an anti humidity oil gel. I started off using their sulfate free shampoo. I applied an ample amount to my roots and I just massaged it into my scalp. This shampoo has a pretty decent amount of lather in it. It has a nice creamy consistency and I didn't try to detangle my hair with it or anything. I just focused on my scalp and then I rinsed it out. Next up, I used the Curl Custom Conditioner. This product is creamy and great for detangling. I love to detangle my hair and apply my conditioner by sectioning off my hair at least three sections on each side. This is going to help me get even distribution of the product and it's going to make sure that my hair is tangle free. I started at my ends and worked my way up to the roots. Now if you happen to have a lot of tangles like I did this day, you can also use a wide tooth comb or a brush and start on small sections at your ends working gently up to the roots. Make sure your hair is nice and wet and covered in conditioner. That just really helps in the slip and it's going to help you detangle your hair with ease. What I love about this conditioner is that you can use it as a co-wash or a leave-in. I always love leaving a little bit of conditioner in my hair before putting my styling product. This helps me maintain moisturized curls and it helps my wash and goes last longer. So I'm going to repeat that process until all of my hair is detangled and conditioned. Here my hair is nice and damp and it does have some of the Curl Custom Conditioner in it. And now we're going to start with styling products. I added an ample amount of the Defining Cream and I just added a lot of this all over my hair and made sure to really break it in. I love saturating my hair with my styling products, especially if it's a cream because my hair can take it and I feel like it doesn't weigh my hair down. If you have a looser curl pattern than mine or your hair is a little bit more fine and you don't want it to get weighed down, then feel free to use their conditioning mousse instead. After all of my hair was coated in the conditioning cream, I decided to add a few spritz of the Pre-Style Restyle Priming Spray. You can also use the spray to refresh your curls as the days go by if you have an old wash and go, but I wanted to use it as a pre-styling option. After spritzing my hair in the areas that tend to get the most frizz, last but not least, I followed up with their anti-humidity gel oil. I have never used a product like this before. I feel like the consistency of this gel is kind of slimy. I don't really know how to explain it. It's very gooey, but it's not sticky. And it has a lot of really good slip. So even though my hair has already been detangled in the shower, it's really easy to distribute this product all throughout my hair. After applying the anti-humidity gel, I like to diffuse my hair if I'm in a rush or if it's just getting kind of cold in my apartment. You can let your hair air dry if that's what you prefer, but because I was kind of in a rush, I decided to use my diffuser. I used it on a medium high heat setting, and I'm also gonna show you guys a little trick that I do to combat shrinkage. If you get a lot of shrinkage like me, then a simple trick is to just add some hair clips to the ends of your hair. You can clip it to your shirt, but this is gonna help weigh down your hair as it dries. And it also helps in shaping your fur. After diffusing my hair on the medium high heat setting, once it starts to dry, I switch to a cool setting to avoid any frizz. And this is the end result. I can honestly say I have never had this much definition and volume on first day wash and go. I really love these products and I love how defined it left my curls. It doesn't feel weighed down by any of these products and that is something that I always look for. I like to have movement and volume in my wash and goes. My preference is definitely the bigger kind of curl look so I definitely think that these products nailed it. And for some of you that have been asking me how I keep my hair looking good when I'm going on vacation or if I'm going swimming or anything like that, I would definitely use these types of products that are creamy and thick in consistency before popping into the swimming pool or the ocean or hanging out at the beach. I always saturate my hair with water and then I apply an ample amount of conditioner. 
and this is definitely some of the products that I will be taking on my trip to Puerto Rico next month. The consistency that it has is really great for just coating your hair before getting into any swimming pool or the ocean because it's going to protect it with this barrier of conditioner. You can also obviously just wear a swimming cap if you prefer, but that's the method that I love using. Um, some of you did ask as well from my Joshua Tree video and that's what I did. I just saturated my hair with water, added some conditioner and then I just jumped in the pool. I hope you guys found my tips and tricks for my wash and go helpful and if you enjoyed this review let me know in the comment section if you've used any of these products and what you think of them. Don't forget to check out the description box I will have all the information for these products right there. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new and stay up to date in the latest by following me on my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.